and this gas sampling pump and these detector tubes. Detector tubes are available for sampling many different types of gases and vapors. Make sure you have the correct type. Also, be sure the tubes haven't reached the shelf life expiration date. Check the pump by doing a field leakage test. Insert a detector tube without breaking the ends. Pull out the piston until it locks and wait for two minutes. At the end of that time, let the piston back in gently. The amount of air that's leaked in can be estimated by the reading on the pump handle. If the reading is greater than five cc's, the pump probably needs nothing more than a little lubrication. You should also periodically check the volume of the pump. To do this, you make up a solution of half water, half liquid detergent. To prepare the pump for the volume test, break off both ends of a detector tube and insert the detector tube into the pump. The next step is to thoroughly coat the inside of a hundred milliliter barrette with the detergent and water solution. When you touch the barrette to the surface of the solution, a soap film forms at the mouth. Connect the barrette to the pump assembly and pull a full stroke on the handle. The distance that the soap bubble travels through the barrette indicates the volume of the pump. The volume should be 100 milliliters.